<laughs> well, when I say we, I mean, you know, we we wrapped up recording it. Wrapped up we recording did the, it. Yeah, the whole Crystal, Crystal Isles. Isles run. Yeah. What do you guys think of the old Crystal Isles compared to uh, some of the other maps we've played in I Arc? like it. I like uh, the map. Mm-hmm. I think the map's cool. I like the diversity. They, they've offered that. I mean, again, like we've talked about uh, these kind of just the, the maps that they have compared to a game like Conan and the amount of things you can do. And just like, you know, it's just it's just a space they put animals and stuff. Like, you know, like, I don't know. It's like a, it was another one of those maps. Yeah, I mean, that, it was that, fun. That's something I'm hoping for in Arc 2. Mm. I hope yeah, the, the base map they come with, like, there's a little bit, not necessarily lore. I don't, yeah. I don't want to run across books and shit to read. Yeah, the reading can suck it. But I'd like to run across, like, temples with puzzles to yeah. solve. I want something in the map that engages me more. Things behind as a, waterfalls. As a, as a, in, yeah. in a plain sense. Yeah. Not, yeah not, not a cutscene. I don't want to run across a guy who talks for 10 minutes about, this is the temple established by blah, blah, yeah. blah. It's like, no. Let me run across things naturally. Like, puzzle, puzzles are great. Yeah. Here's a temple. Oh, look, wait. Look at this stuff on the wall. Look, oh, man, I bet Basically if we put... anything. We put that stuff on the wall. If we put those in here, oh, it opens a door. And, oh, that's treasure. And there's... Look at all these spears and guns. This is great. Yeah, I remember Simon and I were in one place up by um, where you were hunting Nebs, kind of up in that area. We yeah, were in, like, some, islands. some cave. And, and they had, like, uh, the statue of something. And they're like, this is cool. But that was it. Yeah, it doesn't it was yeah. Just yeah. kind of a hollow yeah. shell of something that could have been more. I got a question for you guys since we're you know we we have wrapped up recording Crystal Isles. Yes, regrets because you know I have a regret that just kind of dawned on me hmm. uh, of a particular animal that I wish I could have at least called my own. Mm-hmm. I would have been very difficult to get, but if I would have pushed it, I think everyone would have helped me try to get one of these things. A griffin. Oh, yeah. We never we, we never got a griffin in that one. It's also, I think, somewhat clickable because I'm curious what everyone's regrets are. If you have any, it doesn't have to be an animal that you didn't get, but it could be something that you didn't build or something that you didn't do. Not having to do at the very end, of course. Mm hmm regrets because well, that would be mine i mean i would have liked to have had another crab but i'm pretty thankful for the other things that we ended up like the spider like just some new stuff but i tell you what as far as the griffins go um i believe this okay when this comes out this last episode of arc that just came out will likely have been the boss mm. fight trials right the race yeah the Griffin and there was race. a race through <laughs> the think of it. i can't wait to see that um because there was a shit ton of griffins now we so at least we got some in that episode. A bunch, actually. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, uh, Absor, you had a griffin. Uh, yeah, Champ Wild back in the day. That was and Champ that, Wild. Yeah, and that was probably one of my favorite animals in Ark to fly. Well, I mean, well, the thing with this series, we started out, it was just nomadic. I mean, we kind of tried. We, Ver- we stuck yeah. with that at least until we circled the whole island. And that was a lot of fun. It I was. really enjoyed us all being together together. Just cir- it's like a genuine journey. This map. Yeah. yeah, like that. That was my favorite part of Crystal Isles for sure. Yeah. A lot of people weren't happy about the no flyers. I think it makes it so much more interesting. Even towards the end, you and I were walking down that highway mm-hmm. that you built, and some action happened, and it was fun. Like if we just flew there. We wouldn't have had those moments without yeah, raptor flyer, attack. Flyers are necessary by the end of it because you're you're bouncing all over the to place. To get yeah. where you need to and, for what you and need. And it's just it doesn't make any sense to walk everywhere. I wouldn't keep doing it, but I don't regret doing it. No, no, I thought time. it was a lot of fun, especially initially when we we're exploring the map. It was a good twist. Yeah, the yeah. island of not slaves was a great twist, and they were wonderful and helpful. Mm-hmm. I like I like the different angles we took on on this particular map for sure. But I so, I found some any things. regrets though. Um, no. Damn it, yeah, I'm trying I don't to have market regrets. this fucking video. Regrets. regrets. <laughs> so maybe oh, it might be something. Our regrets in art. Well, you had a regret. So well, you can, I have you one. Can, okay. Yeah, you can still use that as a clickbait. I could. Bait. Well, maybe one more regret. Anything. <laughs> maybe your regret was... I try not to swim in the in the past. You know what I mean? That's true. I know, but I mean, but it's okay. <laughs> I can't think of anything. That's why I said that. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Moving mm. on. Simon has regrets. Yeah. But yeah. Genesis coming up next. Yeah, I don't even I'm know. Curious, how to... and, and this, it may not be something we do for long. We might get in and hate it. We might think it doesn't work pretty quick. We don't know. Yeah. We'll see. So we're going to hop in and at least, you know, give it a shot. I'm I'm excited about it just because it just seems like it's arc presented differently. Yeah. 
And yeah. it, there's a currency system. It's like, okay, now I have something I can, you know, save for and earn money and spend on things. All right, uh, I'll take that in my art game. I could see that being a fun thing for me to get, I don't know, annoyed with. It reminds me of when I was a kid, but like annoyed with, but then also like it's a good thing because it makes you want to work and earn money too. Mm -hmm. But when I was a kid, you know, I was that kid to be like, oh man, you know, you got a nickel because... <laughs> That's how you like I money? need ice cream, and like my mom, she didn't give me any ice cream money. And I don't I know for ice sure cream. yet, but I could imagine this currency system they have. You're gonna hate, and probably say I'm not doing. But that. you don't get to. But if you, uh, <laughs> I, I might. Yeah, I mean it all depends. I think we're it, all gonna think because just from what I've seen, you have to do these like, uh, I don't know, simulated drills and puzzles okay. uh -huh. to make to earn hexagons. And when your hexagons can buy you something as dumb as a hatchet. So can you just make the shit though? You could if just you make it to. probably yeah, easy. Yeah. Yeah. If, oh. if, if it's something you can collect though, you, do you lose them when you die? The hexagons? Uh, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. So these are the things we're going to learn. Oh boy. Which right. I guess I, next week, next week we got to work on like, I feel like when we have to transfer our art characters, like that's a whole day of just technical madness because uh -huh. we always have to look up how do you transfer art characters? And again? we will have just done this when you guys are hearing this. So yeah, we'll have done yeah. it a couple days ago. Yeah. Hopefully but I it did, went well. I did <laughs> jump we'll in to Extinction 2 to kind of get a feel and see if you it mean was Genesis. Even, uh, yeah, 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 that's right. Extinction. Nope, Genesis. Um, but the world's pretty. It's a ring world. Yeah. So you kind of look and the whole world's bending up and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a lot of it seems to work the same. I think you start with a tech suit for some reason. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Well, that I one mean, that actually flies. I think so. Yeah. Like, really? Right. Okay. okay. I've heard this. And that's your weeky weak suit. Damn. That's all weak and shit. Yeah, I guess think. it doesn't offer you much like resistance to oh, damage. But you could hmm. certainly but if you can fly, then you could certainly fly over threats. Well, you need yeah, you need element though. Yeah. God, I, mean, I hate flying those fucking suits. You know what? So I got I got pretty good at it. Like yeah. Yeah, I was I was able to do it. Ugh. It, it's not intuitive. It's not. It, it is It is one of those like, okay, I have to acclimate to this control. It isn't something that you just start and go, wow, this suit's great. You go like, what the, how the fuck are you supposed to fly this yeah. thing? Once yeah. you figure it out, it's it's not bad. But it, yeah, it could be way more intuitive with flying. Yeah. And it sucks that you can't fly up, down, left, right. That's it's it. like when you go fast, it's just straight. You're committed to the straight fast. Dumb as shit. It's Ugh. like, no, you should be able to like fly like Iron Man. Like go all, go anywhere. It's yeah. like a bayonet charge. And yeah. 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 One. yeah. You're committed oh, God, to yeah. this. Just man. Yeah. <laughs> I just hit W, right? Or space bar and W for forward. And I just keep on going forward and higher. <laughs> that's all I really you know like I don't really know yeah. how to Shift. or when you go straight Shift. then it's just yeah. yep straight yep so how do you just how do you instead of you going you want to learn now shift forward and <laughs> yeah what are you asking us now for shifting forward shifting forward that'll maintain your altitude bar. oh okay yeah holding shift uh, yeah it's like a levitate maintains your altitude you probably said that but oftentimes I didn't fly it much but oftentimes when I did I would forget that and then I would find myself just doing the other. Gotcha. Arc. 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 And, and if, if, um, if Genesis, like if we all collectively are like, nah, this ain't going to work. There is that other map. Mm -hmm. Right. The lost Island. You're talking yeah, about? That's yeah. Lost Island. So yeah, we'd, we'd have go a good fallback. Yeah. We're in a good position. I here. would say the lost Island or we go back to the OG, Extinction? the Island. Oh, the Island. Yeah. Yeah, you did bring that up. Yeah. yeah but the, it makes, and I, not to say that that would be a bad idea, but it would make sense if, as long as the, the newer map is getting praise, mm -hmm. that I have we no would idea. go to the newer one. It seems like it's just another map that has all the same stuff we're used to. Like this know. Genesis 2 looks like it has a lot of animals that I'm not used to. They're completely new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how are you guys feeling about Valheim? Because um, we have a boss fight coming up and then we have a decision to make after that to go, all right, that's enough of that game and move oh, on. I'm good after. Yeah. My that's last another thing. Few record well, my our last Valheim recording to me was actually pretty fun. I mean, now that I've got bronze armor, mm -hmm. I don't have the good bow yet, but I actually had a, had a good time the last time we played yeah, that, it. That's a game that gets more fun as you play it. Yeah. And you're able to build more and portal all over the place. And, you know, it's, kind of, it's almost like Minecraft, where by, by the end of it, you've completely transformed this world around you. I would enjoy it if it wasn't like, uh, you know, how we have our recording sessions. Like, I, I would, you know, the more time version of playing, 
a game like that, getting lost into it yeah. and like that way. Because there's a little pressure when it comes to like, well, we've got an hour and a half, two hours to record this. You don't enjoy it quite the same because mm-hmm. of how we approach it. But uh, I haven't died in a while. feel pretty good about well, that. Well, last time we recorded, you're like, oh, I need help. Come through this portal. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I didn't know it was through the portal. As soon as I jumped through the portal, there's a giant troll right. in our little portal base there, and like right in my face. Mm-hmm. And because of the armor and the weapons I had, it we, were, I, you know, I didn't die instantly. Yeah, you were able to survive. I love that game's progression. I love that when the when the first time you enter a black forest, you get your ass kicked. Graylings yep. come up, and it, it, it's brutal. It's a well thought out progression for mm-hmm. sure. But then once you get the copper, you make the stuff, and like okay, then you go back into the black forest with your armor on. It's like whoa, yeah. I'm uh, I'm almost uh, unstoppable here now. They mm-hmm. were smart with that. They were very smart with it. Yeah. Then you go to the swamp, and then you're back to being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Keep you in check. And then what's that, the other... Oh, the planes. Well, no, there's the mountains. what's the other one that the, the hasn't mountains? been... Oh, yeah, and they're still developing the, the game. is the, uh, the Mistlands. That... Yeah. So there's Fuck Mistlands that. coming like, up. And then, and then there's uh, the far north, which is um, snowy region. Yeah. Like glaciers and shit. And then there's the far south, which is like a more of a fiery region. Dude, the Mistlands, you know there's spiders up in there. Oh, hell yeah. Because it's I like mean, look at layered place. with webs. No, nah, that good. game's got a bright future. I yeah. hope they keep going with it. they got a wonderful building mechanic. They just need to keep adding stuff to it. And yeah. in three years, that game's going to be even bigger and better than yeah, it is Yeah, the core now. is on point. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful foundation. Mm-hmm. I thought we were done with it. We are. We might. I think yeah, we might. I kind of, that's, uh, I think we have a mite over here, which is fine. Yeah, no, I think, but I mean, to me, like, if, if everyone said they wanted to keep playing, with our progression, it wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if we kept playing, but I'm okay with stopping too. But I think, you know, if, I don't think Ada loves. She doesn't. Yeah, that's the other thing. Our she editor doesn't. isn't. Our editor is not in love with the game. I think our editor like she wants something a little prettier. Yep. And yeah, so, I agree uh, with that. Yeah. No. I mean, as far as like looks go, it is again like Minecraft. It's not a very good looking game. Yeah. No. But, but yeah, you it don't want the job done. But you have tools does. in Minecraft that they don't have in this. And I think she liked Minecraft too, though. But I understand what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But uh, so yeah, I have to figure out what she wants to do next. Mm-hmm. We're going to figure it out. Oh, yeah, we figure it out. Dying Light. Let's do Dying Light. Yeah, I started playing that a little bit. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed the intro. I just got past the uh, the kind of the tutorial-ish portion. Yeah. That's the thing in that game is that is a very like narrative-driven game. Yeah. So you, it's, it, it'd be a lot of skipping these fucking cutscenes because the cutscenes are all yeah. bullshit usually. Yeah, but it's it was like, good. What's the story? Was... Who cares? You're in a zombie world. Go out and fight zombies, collect resources. It was good. You know what? This is a, a quick shift. Um, guess what I watched the intro of? And I was good. I'm like, yeah, I'm not watching anymore. It's kind of late. And I was just, I put it on the intro to, to Wonder Woman 84. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, off the bat, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> like, this little girl in the, and you, the way you even painted this part was like, this, this I'm fine with this part. Okay. D- the be- she does these trials or whatever the hell, and she's the youngest girl in the trials, and she kicks ass on all this, like, gymnastic stuff jumping through the air and then like two-thirds of the race is dependent on how quick your horse you happen to have gotten on is right what the fuck kind of challenge is that <laughs> right all the tough stuff was in the beginning and now it's like i hope i get a good horse yeah what yeah oh god there was and nobody I- like even gave her props for kicking ass in the tough stuff what a dumb fucking movie. Like, I <laughs> oh. couldn't even with it. I really want them to do a good female superhero movie. They seem incapable. <laughs> I didn't mean to... I, I just had to get it out. The they first Wonder incapable. Woman was good. Was fine. Yeah, that's true. The first one was Until the last 15 minutes. Yeah, the last 15 minutes I was going to fuck off. But yeah, that that was on the right track. Like, oh, well, I, I'm engaged. Yeah, I apologize. I didn't mean to... I don't know if this counts, but no. Alita, Battle Angel. Alita, no, Alita was great. Yeah, Alita counts. Would, is that a I superhero think, movie? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. She's kind of a superhero. She's well, got that's my skills. favorite female superhero movie. Yeah. As of right now. I love that movie. Yeah, please, Simon. I'm sorry, uh, Space Jam. This is what I probably <laughs> tried to talk about. Oh, shit, I this can't wait This is what I to... tried to talk about, and I couldn't remember what movie I saw recently, like last week. Do you remember me uh, talking about that? Lay it on. Lay it, it on. It was fucking Space Jam. Let me tell you something. What? I've recently watched the original Space Jam, like, well, actually, a week before okay. I went and saw this one. Makes sense. Yeah, so you know the lore? I know the lore. <laughs> I tell you, I got a lot of respect for Michael Jordan. I think this latest one was a piece of fucking shit. Compared to the first one. Oh, yeah, and I didn't even like the first one. I thought the first one wasn't that good. I don't remember. It was not good. As a kid, I didn't like it. No. (laughs) But but to look at it now as an adult, I looked at what happened, and I went, okay, look at what they did there. I guess that wasn't so bad. You know, I said, like, I mean, of course I didn't like it. 
but I'm watching it with a child, and I'm going like, they enjoyed it, and I could see why they did. Mm. Okay. This new one, talk about something that doesn't make sense. This is what made me think about it. Like, not to mention all the shit that was shitty about it. Towards the end, you come, or in the, in the game, you come to find out that there's style points, right? So, like, when you score points, you could be behind, like, the cartoon, the good guy cartoon players were behind so much. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you do a trick shot, you get all these style points. Extra points. points. Right? So, and again, I can accept the style point thing. So they're going, boom, style point. Look, I got 200 points for that one. Because they're losing like 900 and nothing or whatever the fuck, you know? So it's like, oh, I got 150 for that. I got 75 for that. Oh, you got all these different things. And you're seeing these guys build build their score up. And then towards the end, when it's really close... And they do all these fancy like shots. They're only counting by two points again. <laughs> the fucking was style style point. points oh. went out the fucking window because then there was a score here. Crazy score. That would have got that was better than oh 200 my points. God. Two points. Two points. Two points. Two points. And do I'm a like, spin. What the fuck? Yeah. How no, about that yeah, style that's... thing we were? And on top of that. Uh, I think what's his name was, I guess, such a bad actor or the way that they wrote it half the time, <laughs> half the time LeBron was a cartoon character with all the cartoon characters. Okay. And then like towards the end of the movie, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> now we're going to, now it's the new animated version. So they animated uh, the old characters in a new 3D way. Mm-hmm. And then the cartoon character that was 2D LeBron turned to himself. Hmm. Anyway, I'll probably cut a that a lot of that boring no, shit don't, out. No, no, keep it in. People need God. to know. <laughs> God, they need to know. Piece of shit. God. And and then you go. This is Warner Brothers for Christ's sake. This is a big deal. There are fucking like hundreds of millions of dollars probably involved in making this movie but and you promoting it at in, least. No, but I thought yeah. it'd be fucking a lot. Better. I don't think anybody ever asked for Space Jam 2. That no. is such a weird franchise for LeBron anybody did. to go. Hey, we're gonna dig this up. LeBron asked for it. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best now, man. I want to yeah. fucking dizzy. But the thing is, what su- just surprised me, I didn't think it was going to be good, but I thought it'd be better than the one that was made 20 years yeah. ago that was mm-hmm. shitty. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad you had that perspective. It's not worst. <laughs> <laughs> Animation, nothing like, I mean, I'm sure. Oh, I mean, of was... course, there's, you know, fun things with that, but I'm looking at the, the story of Space Jam. Yeah. And, and then the end whole thing with the whole points that just made me go, uh-uh, I'm not doing this. I threw with in the, uh, Spider-Man the uh, Into the Multiverse last night again. Great. So I got yeah, the nice. Oh, movie. my God. Wonderful Talk about movie. just. Movie. Like, you don't even have to have this. It's a great movie. But have the sound. Just watching that animation is mm-hmm. fascinating. The story. The dialogue. The story's great. The everything. Oh, it was yeah. on it's, No, it. that it's movie is. That, like, that's I mean, the difference. Is that's a movie made with passion. Yep. And hard. care. Everyone was on the same and page. everyone's on the same page. And there's a director that knows what the fuck's Space going on. Space Jam is just an expe- a cash an extreme tale. Exactly. Sca- Space Jam is the, like a, a room full of. Ten executives at Warner Brothers going like, "We should revive Space Jam." Oh, and Bugs Bunny. Oh, and we can get LeBron. Yes, LeBron. Let's do yes, it. it's done. And like, done. Who, who do we hire? Some fuck all director. Ah, yeah, whatever. He's fine. Bring him in here. Give him the script. Can we put out that script in three days? <laughs> let's get it done. <laughs> he was ah. there. That's exactly how it went down. Yeah, yeah, he was. There. No, it feels just so insidious know, and is. nasty. Oh God, yeah, it infuriates me. Yeah, yeah. Like all that money, all that money spent on garbage absolute uh, trash i guess because most people see these days you think because we get catered to as the adults that take the children to the movies we have been lucky enough to get catered to and we get to watch movies that are that our kids or people that are with that are younger uh, can watch and really enjoy and we can enjoy them too and i expect that now with anything yeah that's fucking big no, budget we're spoiled we're spoiled we are yeah, it's like uh, if uh, yeah, if I'm taking my daughter to a family film, I want to enjoy this thing too. Damn right, like, this thing better have a good script, good cast, good characters. Freaking dragon running around that I saw. No. It was a fucking great <laughs> movie. I assume oh, needs. Train your dragon. Yeah, no, wonderful no, movie. No, the, the recent one with the dragon. Okay, no. I expect about. you are excited about that rock movie, huh? <laughs> Jungle Neebs? Cruise? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to watch Jungle Cruise. <laughs> it, it looks like Pirates of the Caribbean again. I want to watch the new guys. It, it's like it's Pirates of the Caribbean, but with uh, The Rock instead of Johnny Depp. I'm and fine it's... with that. Yeah. It'll be yeah. fun. It won't be anything new, but, but I'll have be, fun. I bet you it'll be pretty good, though. Like I bet you that that'll be, be a lot better than the than what I just it has described. To be. No, it would, it would, it's probably going to fall in that category, kind of like all the Pirates movies. Of, of this, is, this is just decent entertainment. Yeah. Like so, you kind of turn your brain off and just go, okay, I can just watch this and watch the images happen and go, ah, 
this is fun. So Disney Plus has a a series on on their channel that's uh, behind the attraction. Okay. They go over all these like iconic Disney rides, and they kind of give you the story behind Arr. it. And uh, Joan Cruz is one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it was just out in Anaheim. They're just out there with a stick, just drawing a line in the dirt. Here's where the river's gonna be, yeah. and they're digging it up, <laughs> and they're pulling like trees off the highway, trying to make it look like a jungle. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah. But it, it's pretty good. Like. With the ride? The, the, no, the show. Oh, I didn't oh, ride the ride. Did anyone ride it? No. The Jungle, Jungle Book ride? No, Jungle Book? No, not what, Jungle Book. What, what are we all? Fucking, uh, <laughs> the, the Jungle, the fucking... I feel like I did when I was a kid. Jungle, Jungle Cruise? Cruise? When we went yeah, to Jungle Disneyland Jungle Cruise. for uh, Battle... Was it Battlefront was yeah. coming out? Oh, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, I didn't want to go on it. It's a piece of shit. It rides real slow. Swore one of us went on it. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't that did we, time. Did I hate I it? I would have been a kid. If I went on it, I forgot it because it was yeah. that You'd have known it was just a couple years ago. It was a but boat it was just really, yeah, jungle. Like I'm pretty sure I didn't go on nah, that. I've gone on it before and I yeah. didn't like it. I don't think you did. It was a reason why there was a short ass line and I went, oh, this is why nobody's on this motherfucking ride. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I went to Disney World, or Disney World one, of the, one of the ones with my daughter maybe eight years ago and I did all the shitty rides, like the Small World After All. Like even Pirates of the Caribbean, like I know the movies have come out now and people appreciate it. It's that ride's good. boring as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're just sitting there and like watching stuff. You go, okay, just really bad animatronics. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like the Haunted Mansion at least kind of has a little bit more variety. I don't know, but right. yeah, a lot of those old Disney rides are just that. It's like Jungle Cruise, the same way. It's like you're gonna sit on the boat and you're gonna look around. Yeah, like it's not a ride to me. I mean, I guess it's a ride. I mean, all but- those years ago. It would have been great. It's like, hey, look, we got this thing. They got some giraffes and some elephants. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm sure at the time it was exciting. People couldn't travel, and you don't have as much. But they weren't real. To look They're at. not real. Yeah, but they were like fucking like back weird, in the like bad forties or fifties or whatever. Was, well, yeah, no, then, then it was good. Fun. But yeah, but the fact is, they still have it now. No, yeah. you know, the forties yeah. and fifties, well, no, I get it. Well, well, well now they the have time. Animal Planet or not Animal Planet, Animal Kingdom. Right, but that's, they still and that's the, probably kind of what they really wanted to do back probably. in the day. But didn't then have that's the, when you shut down the Jungle Cruise <laughs> ride <laughs> when, you, when you have the you it's go. history. Right, yeah. It's Here's like, what we, I want. We got something better here. I want to see more of uh, back in the day when I was a kid, up by where my cousins lived, a few hours north of of Minneapolis, a town called Brainerd. They had Paul Bunyan Land, <laughs> and uh, yeah, not <laughs> believe me, it's no Disney. What? I don't, I don't <laughs> but they had a couple you. like cheesy rides. They you gave all like the kids a potato rides. when they came in. I don't know. Well, why. Well, no. When you come in, Paul Bunyan's sitting. He was, and they've moved Paul Bunyan since. Like this doesn't exist anymore. But a big Paul Bunyan, probably I don't know, thirty feet tall, is sitting in a chair, maybe taller. And your parents go, and, and I might have brought this up years ago. Your parents go and tell someone in the booth, like, it's Nate's birthday today or whatever like or that they say the names and then all of a sudden paul bunyan's like hi nate <laughs> i heard it's your birthday and you're like what you lose your mind you lose your fucking mind but there was one ride at paul bunyan land well there were two i love their haunted house which was just the worst thing ever <laughs> but the mystery mine ride Ooh. talk about simple so got the the front of like a cave and you walk into the cave and there's an elevator and it's like this is not big this is the most minimalist ride idea i've ever seen so you get in the elevator with a few people probably four or five of you can fit in there and you're starting to go way dance telling you like it starts shaking and you can see like this vent on the side of the elevator wall that it's got you can clear you can tell it's got the rotating uh rock face of the mm, gotcha, wall gotcha, yeah. so it makes you feel like you're going down and down and down you know and it gets like a little darker and stuff like that and the, the opposite side of the door you walked in, once you're at the bottom, that opens up, and there's just a bunch of skeletons mining. <laughs> you know, like, with animatronic. And they're not yeah. even real. They're not even real. <laughs> animatronic skeletons. Skeletons, and then you go back up. And then that's, that's it. it. So you that was it. it. That's it. That's so the end of the ride. Walk? No. You just look. You're in ah. that one elevator, and you say, well, <laughs> sucks to be them. You go in. Wow. Even though you never moved anywhere. As a kid, you liked it? Like? Disney. The first time, I thought it was kind of cool, you know? Yeah. But the best part, the haunted house that was there. The only reason I liked it is because you I thought that through. was the haunted house. I was no, really that confused. was the mystery mine ride. Okay. The haunted house, you could walk through, and it was just a bunch of, like, black light pictures on the, you know what I mean? Just, like, there was no monsters. Nothing was going to scare you. But there was one room that there was kind of a secret path you could take. But you could end up going around this little like uh, tunnel and you could look through the eye holes of a painting 
that were in one of the main rooms that people walk through. Ooh. So you could be that person uh-huh. with your eyeballs watching these people walk through, and they'd be like, oh, look at the eyeballs. They refuse to hire anyone. They're like, make the kids do yeah, it. Yeah, make the kids <laughs> do it. Let's, Let's them open have up access. this little area, and they'll find their way. You know what? They should have had it connected to the Mystery Mine ride, and the door opens, and they're just like going at it. <laughs> right. <laughs> skeleton's going to town. Maybe they got like some little levers you pull, and you're making the skeleton arms go. Yeah, you've got to do it all. <laughs> now, if you guys could There's just little- wiggle... This this elevator is going to wiggle down. It'll feel more real. Everybody wiggle. God. Yeah. Anyway, Paul Bunyan land. Uh, sorry you missed it. I can't, Too late. I'm going. Well, it's gone. Oh, now that you've hyped it up. Yeah. Uh, sorry, everyone. That's Guess right. you'll have to go to Disney Somebody now. Somebody out there remembers it just as good as you do. <laughs> so that, yeah, I remember that ride. <laughs> yeah. It's good shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, speaking of Disney, they're in trouble. Black uh, Widow's coming after them. Yeah, yep. you said. Mm. Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney because I guess as part of her contract, it was not, you know, the, they weren't supposed to throw it on Disney Plus, the streaming service. Right. And of course, when the movie came out, they were like, all right, the movie's out. Same day, Disney Plus. Well, Scarlett's supposed to get, I guess in her contract, you know, all the money was from ticket sales. So sh- she's like, you guys put it over here, it's ripping me off. I'm suing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she needs some big back end money. Mm-hmm. And all, yeah, also, so she's done playing that character, which is a smart time to sue. Oh, she's done playing the character. Yeah, job yeah. done. Yeah, job's done. I mean, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah, because who knows what the fuck they're making and who they put. Well, I other guarantee she's. In other I guarantee things. she's not only doing it for herself; she's doing it for other actors as well. Yeah, because there's other actors that can't pull that card yet. Yeah, but Scarlett, she's getting older. You know, she's on this she's side got of thirty five. You know, there, she's yeah. like, all right, you know. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the one that does this because uh, the streaming services, they're not they have to really ripping that after actors off, but that has to start playing into their contract. It's the Wild West right now, mm-hmm. still to a degree when it comes to that kind of crap. Well, so. that's for only the big actors that get back end shit, because most of the time, even when you're really big, a lot of the time yeah. you don't get a point, or well, at least from hearing celebrities talk on like you know get to get interviewed or whatever. But does your shoulder still get checks from Iron Man? Was it two? Uh, I haven't I haven't received a check in a minute. Yeah, but yeah. you got them for a while. Yeah, I was getting yeah a little bit. Yeah. They weren't they weren't big. Were know. they like over ten dollars? At times they used to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A few hundred in the beginning, you know. Like a door Quarterly, making all that Marvel money, You're making that sweet shoulder cash. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Dory, you got to negotiate with Disney Plus because I'm, right, sure, I'm pretty sure Iron Man 3 is on their <laughs> streaming service. Yeah, You're getting right. robbed, dude. <laughs> you dude. know, in our agreement, that wasn't the case. Yeah. <laughs> Man. <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. With these, yeah uh, how, do you, how do you calculate that? I guess you do it somehow by views. Yeah, some, some accountants got to come up with that out. number and go, yeah. all right. That reminded me of um, like how she might, I mean, that's, a, that's cool if she's doing that, you know, uh, to put your foot down for this gray area. Mm-hmm. But uh, it reminded me of Cheers back in the day. I think I've talked about this before, but like Cheers and the significance of that television show and what it did for the future of actors. Right. Based on the um, the Cheers restaurants that were going to go up everywhere that had the likenesses of these actors in the restaurants oh, no. without them getting any money for it. And, you know, the talent was like, uh, How much no. likeness, though? Well, like they had Norm and Cliff sitting at the end of the bar. Like an actual replica the of their faces? Like mm-hmm. wax yeah, yeah like, so they were okay. like just doing it like it was that was the character you're going to see at the bar sitting over in those chairs and whatever. They were like, uh uh-uh. So that lawsuit um, paved the way for likenesses mm. used by these entities to like, you know, the actor's should get fucking money <laughs> if you're using yeah if you're gonna open a yeah, restaurant their face using their the, face yeah. it's yeah. like hey i get a kickback you can't throw their face on a t-shirt yeah. and sell it without it you know yeah. blah, blah, blah. but apparently that lawsuit you know paved the way forward hugely so, I, uh, thank you cheers i'm fascinated <laughs> by the uh, like just the historical um relationship between studios and actors because like back in the day if you were an actor you worked at the studio yeah you worked for warner brothers and it was in your contract it's like you just do warner brothers yep. films yeah you were commissioned to do yeah. whatever the hell they had you do yeah they paid you a salary and then you say yeah you're yep. doing 10 movies this year tom it's like yep. yeah we got you to talk like this in all of them tom. yeah <laughs> that's it tom <laughs> but yeah like you didn't uh you you couldn't negotiate i want to do this movie i want to do that movie like yeah. no no you work for the studio yeah, what do you <laughs> so and eventually and did they make that, any money on the back end or just back end i would, I would imagine they just got a salary and back that was end it. didn't exist for a long time a lot of musicians oh were, no like they got hit songs out don't they and they, did, they just got a paycheck for yeah. it mm-hmm. and that was one, it. Exactly, one yeah. check songs still played on the radio yeah pretty nuts mm-hmm. 
Yeah, no, it's uh, I I find that uh, yeah that history between mm-hmm. you know the the industry and the talent yeah, is old, fascinating. Old Hollywood and is it, fascinating, and it's all oh, changed God. big time. Even just in the last twenty years, where yeah. everyone's getting their own production companies, they're all like executive producers on their own shit, mm-hmm. which makes sense essentially, you know, because they're not just going to get paid or even get the little bit of residuals. Then they're going to see oh, I'm a co-producer on this son of a bitch. Yeah, but but. How you like that slippy, Simon? Oh, I do. I love the slippy. This slippy is of... We have a campaign going on for socks oh, and yeah. slippies. It's still going on. Are you a man? I love the commercial. These socks are made entirely in the United States of America. Yeah, that's where Jesus was born. Go, American Jesus. <laughs> the commercial was fun. <laughs> it was great. Mm-hmm. I, I watched it and laughed through most of it. Mm-hmm. So I very much approved it. I even shared it on Twitter. Oh, nice. Good for you. Well, and you didn't wow. have to be there for the shoot. Nope. Yeah, it worked out good. It worked, well, it worked out great. I remember you guys saying that it would probably be best if I wasn't there trying to sell the socks, but I didn't know how you were going to do it. It was a good angle. Great angle. Funny angle. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So while you're hearing this, socks is still available. Hey, socks. Sox. Hey, and also koozie things that go over your drinks. Like, I'm drinking a water right now, which yeah, is not I, a good... Yeah, I want one of those. Yeah, they're... Uh, we... Slippies, I think they're called white. Slippies are the little, yeah, little yeah. for your cans and yes. bottles. And then Freakers are, like, for bottles only. Then right, right. the socks. We weren't going to do these. Um, the guys at Freakers actually called us several months ago. I was like, hey, we made too much inventory last year. Can we? <laughs> can, can, is, can you help us move this inventory? Right. And uh, we're like, yeah, we could do a post or something. Maybe people want it discounted or something. And they're like, we really want to make a new sock, which we weren't going to do. I'm like, eh, little are you man sock might be fun. So, because uh, I still want to do a year end sock. We, that's kind of been our tradition. Yeah, yes. Christmas sock. Yeah, something like we that. should. Yeah, the new I, colors this year is always yeah a different good thing. colors. And like for the last couple of years, the sock designs have always had kind of what that year was about. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, it's like last year was like scrap mechanic and zombies there and dinosaurs. Been, there should have been COVID on last year's too. Yeah, I think oh. I, I think I thought about it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but, but uh, nobody wants to think about that no, again. No, of course so. not. Like this year would, would be what dinosaurs again, but uh, yeah. maybe a, like a Viking thing. Yeah, Valheim. Valheim. Yeah, sure. we got some Valheim. What else do we play this year? Oh, uh, something Rust. rusty. Yeah, Rust. Rust yeah, Rust related. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, that's uh, hey. As long as we're, can I just pimp out this sauce real quick? Oh, do it's just a buddy, Prior Marine. It's called that stuff hot sauce, and I really like it. You've all got. Well, who likes hot sauce here, though? I tasted it when I got home. I brought a think? bottle home. I liked it because it was very subtle. It, it was just it was smoky. Like, like it said, it's very smoky, it. and, and yeah. like it says on the bottle, it's more flavor than it is hot. Yeah. So right? he's doing well with it, and I was just pimping him out. That stuff hot sauce. It's really that's, good. Yeah. It's a very approachable hot sauce. So that's he's doing stuff. well. It's called yeah, that it's stuff. Not, that's, that's not stuff. stuck up. Yeah, because when he was making it back yeah. in the day, I guess that's how he. You know, you bring some of that stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's uh, he was known to and it was like a family recipe. And you said there's a website. So. Yeah, I think that. Probably, I'll find it. Oh, right Google here. probably Bam, Google that, that stuff. stuff there you go. Sure. Boom. Oh. It's really good. I really like it. And there's so like yeah, out there if you like hot sauce, check yeah, it out. Bam. I couldn't help it, and he's a good dude. So didn't you do this before? Where you tried to pimp out your friend's band, and you sent everybody to the wrong place. I did. I did mess that. <laughs> up. That was your cousin. I'm not the best pimper. <laughs> it's okay. That was my that was my first cousin. Yes, first cousin. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. Well, where, where'd you send people? I don't remember. To a different it band. was another band of a similar name, I think. <laughs> oh, I just remember the name of the band exactly. Uh, I don't know what it was. Their yeah, there was something. Blew up that day, like, what's happening? <laughs> Oops. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, no, uh, what did they say? Is it no press is bad press? But that's bullshit. Ba- all press is good press. Oh, yeah. Bad press is good. Or is, I don't know. It's yeah, something like that. That's what they're implying, yeah. that bad like, press no, is good no press, press is not. bad press, is what they say. Yeah, just ask Cosby. I think, yeah. Yeah. I think Anthony just yelled publicity, and he's publicity. right. Publicity. Yeah. yeah. That's the word. Oh, instead of press, it's instead publicity? Of press, yeah, he's like, yeah, all, all publicity is good pu- publicity. There you go. Even okay. bad publicity. Hey, was I talking about my Taco Bell experience on the podcast? Where did I talk about that? Man. Tell me a little bit more about the experience, because you talk about Taco Bell more than the average man. So a couple <laughs> weeks ago, I went through the drive-thru, and the lady's like, hey, the car in front of you paid for your meal. Yes, you did tell yeah. me that, and I don't, oh, damn it. I know I heard the conversation, but I don't know where. All right, well, that's what happened. I look behind me, you know, I'm like, oh, crap, what's behind me? And I look behind me, and there's nothing. I'm like, oh, well, I guess. What? 
There was no one there? There's no one behind? No, the person in front of me paid for me. You pay it back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he like, was, he, he was kind of happy forward. that you didn't have to pay I'm for like, I'm going to look behind yeah. me and there's going to be an activity bus. Oh, but there was. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it was empty. so listen, something's fishy about that place, man. Which because place? Because Taco Bell. The close one? Yeah. Okay. So today I'm there and the girl starts it again. Hey, the guy in front of you paid for your uh, meal. What? And I'm like, what? And she's like, the, the, the first five cars in front of you have done it. And I look the behind f- me, and there's a pickup truck. And I'm like, all right, well, how much is his meal? And, man, I just got a bean burrito. Yeah, I got you. 14 bucks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that game is like it's a... About <laughs> it's about... <temple. laughs> well, I'm going to end this little run. No, you I, need to be ordering more yeah. fucking food. No, I paid for it. But, yeah, I should have said, wait, add this to my order it, and give me... I wonder how long that went today. And I also wonder how long it's gone, uh, like, what the record is out there as Ooh, far yeah. as that continuing i'll bet it's a pretty impressive amount i think i've heard yeah i've heard some high numbers before but it makes me wonder like are the people that eat, eat there just doing this or is someone that works there like hey you know what this is a cheap one i'm gonna pay for it and tell them it's just to someone sp- else paid for it and see if i can get this train going for for why because you're for bored? goodness for goodness well i would like to think that's why but yeah maybe yeah spread spread happiness probably and usually fast food workers are wanting to spread a bunch of happiness. <laughs> usually, That's why I ask. Usually they're wanting to spread their money <laughs> yeah, they're never and happiness just, yeah. just for Yeah, goodness. they're buying a bunch of burritos for us you know, all you the know, time. You know who gave you that? You didn't even pay. It was Santa Claus. Santa Santa Claus. was the one that handed you the food. Man. It does suck. I imagine looking back and just seeing a van full of people. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh-huh. fuck. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> no. Um, no, but good for you. <laughs> but yeah, listen, the people there in the drive the drive through and the, the window... They were really nice. Like well, that's good. That's I'm used different. To, I'm used to the service there being horrible. I'm glad that you've gotten good service recently. I got semi recently. I got really, really bad service, and then I decided to do something that I never did before. <laughs> tip paid it sideways. Uh, tip over tip grossly. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the horrible that's service. Bad. It was almost like you know what. And I don't know why, like, she obviously was not having a good day yeah. and didn't seem to give a shit. Right, right. And f- forgetting shit and then not not even saying anything. Oh, yeah, by the way, here. You know, like, and then I was just like, man, I don't know. And I was, and I wanted a stiffer. I want, and I yeah. never do that. Yeah. And I, and then I went, you know what? Hey, she could be having such a horrible day. Yeah, because you don't know. I yeah. tipped her the bill. So I tipped her 100%. Mm-hmm. Nice. And I was just like, and then afterwards, like almost like maybe like 20 minutes later, half hour later, I was like, what the fuck did you do? That's really good. But you know what? Then I thought back it again. So yeah, she might have had a really bad day and maybe she needs to pay more attention to the people that she's serving. And maybe that'll be shocking. Like maybe she was probably thinking this guy's not going to fucking tip. This got fucked up and that yeah. got fucked up. Yeah. Fuck it all. I don't give a shit. You sound like somebody that wouldn't tip. Maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Anyway. But yeah, it's a good thing to remember is you just don't know. You don't what, know. what They, they might have just, yeah, got some really shitty news. And <laughs> you don't know. You yeah. never know. I had, a, I had a delivery at my house earlier today, and uh, I think the driver was having a bad day. Yeah? She said, I, I, I've had two deliveries to my house recently, um, and they've been opposite ends of the spectrum. The one was way too bubbly, way too friendly, which is, it sounds weird to say, but he just, he just wanted to hang out and keep talking. Huh. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, let's try. okay, yeah, you know, I'm friendly. I'm having a good time. It's like, hey, well, we're dropping the stuff off, and you're going, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. leaving. Because like, you got st- a schedule, He stayed right? an extra five minutes just yeah. telling me, asking me how my day was, telling me about his life. Right? It was great, but yeah. Yeah. at the same time, well, like, like, well, come on, let's let's go. Usually yeah. a delivery person, they got like a, a schedule yeah. of places to He's drop stuff off. He's a bad delivery person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good well, but bad. Then the, then the good one was, yeah, was today, because he was like, you know, here, sign this. Like, okay. How you doing today? All right. <laughs> so I got that a, was it that, that I got a neighbor ex- like that That was the extent of our communication Yeah I, I got a, a neighbor, neighbor like that He's a, I mean I like him But you just like He just reminds you Like one of those grumpy cats mm-hmm. Like he'll always wave But he didn't want to He's like <laughs> Oh god <Yeah. laughs> hey, Fuck you There was a, a guy in, in our neighbor Or where I live um, That just Always had an attitude. Apparently, he was an asshole at the coffee shop across the street. Walks around with this little pug that's the sweetest fucking dog ever. You know what I mean? It's such a weird contrast, this happy, happy, happy <laughs> dog and this piece of shit. But when I've seen him at a, I saw him at a couple bars, and man, and my angle is like the kill him with kindness thing. Like, don't even, you know, 
I'm just, he warmed up to me. It became a challenge. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like I see him now and he's like, cause I feel like, I don't know. He might be on the spectrum to some degree. He's just not a social guy, but now I see him and like, I forced him to know my night, mm-hmm. name. Like I forced him to. Yeah. And his dog fucking loves me so much. So I gave him no choice but to say hi. I bet you're that. <laughs> he sees me now. I bet you're that dog's godfather. I'm, I, you, you might <laughs> you're be right. You're in the it's will. Probably, it's you're probably the only one that talks to this right person. <laughs> that dog's just waiting for me to get home. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, kill him with kindness because you don't know. Yeah. You don't know. Sometimes you just got to break the ice a little bit. And yeah, sometimes people just they're having they're going through something. Yeah, and some people just aren't social. We should give each other the benefit of the doubt. That's the point. It'll make the world better. It there will. you go. Hey, yeah. it's a little bit of world peace. A little bit of that. Right there. Uh-huh. Right in your face. Mm. How do you mm. like it? Is it wet and sticky? Always. And sweet. I'll tell you that much. Oh, tastes like honey. How long have we been going? We're done, man. We got to oh. go eat dinner. And That's it. Get we ready do. for our stream. We do. Eat dinner right. and get yeah, ready for the stream. We're a little late. <laughs> this and is I hope it, we're baby. playing Muck, because Muck is a we lot of fun. Playing muck. We're right. playing Muck on the stream. Not this stream. The, I mean, if this is the podcast. This will be last Thursday. Who knows? Yeah, this, yeah, last Thursday we played Muck. This, yeah. t- tonight, tonight, we don't, don't know. know. No telling. Who don't knows? Know. Who knows? That's in the future. You don't oh, know the future? Yeah. yeah. Come by our stream, 8 o'clock, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time, yeah. every Thursday. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. Yeah. See ya.